Hi, Tom from Portana here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up OpenAMT and FDO on the Edge in Portana 2.11.1. First, we will start by enabling the Edge Compute settings. This is now located under the Settings menu as a sub-menu called Edge Compute. You will note two new settings here, Enforce Environment ID and Trust on First Connect. I'll talk about those later in the video. Let's first start with OpenAMT. You can deploy that through the App Templates menu in here. You'll need to fill in the details, take note of the password quality requirements, and then click to deploy the stack. I have already deployed it previously, so I'm going to skip that step. After you've deployed the MPS server or the OpenAMT stack, you will need to set up your Edge device from the Edge Devices menu. Again, I've already set up the Intel NUC that we have as an Edge device. Now that's running, but we can't use OpenAMT yet. There's an extra step. So we need to go to the Settings menu, go into Edge Compute, and turn on OpenAMT. Now, I've previously filled this in, so I'm just going to save the settings there. Then we go back to the Edge Devices menu, and you'll see an extra button there, Associate with OpenAMT. What we need to do is we select the device, and then we click the Associate with OpenAMT button. So let's do that now. You will now see a message saying that it's succeeded. So now we can perform some out of band actions. Let's connect to the KVM section. And there we have it. So we can now interact with that and behave like a desktop. And to disconnect, we just click the X. Now there's some other actions you can perform as well from that same menu. So you can power on, power off, or restart. Now the standard way of adding Edge devices in Portana is from the Edge devices menu. To do this, click Add Device. Give it a name and enter the container server URL. And click Add. This will take you to this page here. Now you need to take one of these commands, for example, this one here, and then you copy and paste that into the terminal on the device, and it will connect up to Portainer. Now I'll show you how to onboard devices using FDO. To do that, we need to deploy the FDO stack template. The next step is to switch it on in the Edge Compute Settings menu. And now let's onboard a device. Click Add Device. Select the ownership voucher, which may be more than one. Give the device a name. And the URL for the server. We select our device profile and click Save. Now, because we had Trust on First Connect off, we need to choose to trust this device. Then we wait for the device to onboard. 
and you can see now that it's connected. This concludes the device onboard process. Now, I would like to point out that this is a demonstration. The device that we onboarded today is actually a Docker and Docker container and not a real device. Lastly, I wanted to talk to you about two new settings that I mentioned earlier in the video. These are found under the settings menu in the Edge Compute section. The first one, Enforce Environment ID. What that does is it ensures that the ID used by the Portainer agent when connecting to Portainer already exists in the database. And if it does not, it will not be able to connect. The second trust on first connect means that when the device is first set up in Portainer or appears in the list as an edge device, it's not trusted. And you would actually have to select the device and choose to trust it. If you switch this on, it means that the device, when it first appears or is seen by Portainer, will immediately be trusted. More details about these settings can be found in the online documentation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please provide them in the comments below. Thanks.